Welcome back to Hartford Hawks Basketball with Jen Rosati. I'm your host, John Holt. We put the spotlight on your sophomore out of Mercy High School, Amber Bepko, who is back and healthy after getting that injury before the UConn game. And she has been a defensive whiz for you. When you recruit a young player, can you see these defensive tendencies and skills in high school, or do they have to develop at the college level? I think it's a little of both. Sometimes you look for certain things, and you look if a player's around the ball a lot. We always say that somehow she's just around the ball a lot. And with Amber, you know, it wasn't necessarily a physical thing that you could pinpoint, but she just was around the ball. And she got here, and she's really developed into somebody who can be very disruptive. Even when she's not getting a steal, she really has the ability to force a lot of turnovers, and that's been a, a big plus for us. Well, it's time to find out about the art of the steal. Amber Bebko is our Manchester Honda player profile. I definitely think it was when I was little. I've always liked defense a lot, and it's definitely something that a lot of coaches have looked at me for, and that's something that Coach Riz has always said that she loves about me. It's my scrappiness on defense, and I'm always just ready for anything, like stealing, whatever, but it's, it's one of my favorite things to do. It's all about the effort. You have to be on point at all times. You can't, the second you turn your head or something, you're getting back cut. It's happened to me plenty of times, so it's something that you just always have to keep going. You have to be paying attention to, and if you're paying attention the whole time, you're a good defender. When the ball's one step one pass away from me. I step back off my player a little. I always have my hands up and I have to stay low. And I'm always making sure I'm looking back at both of them, but I can also see both of them. I never want to lose Daphne, but I never want to lose the sight of the ball. So, so I just get low and I'm on my feet, on my toes. If I see ahead of time with film when we watch it, if I see that they make kind of sloppy passes or they're not really careful with the ball, that definitely makes me a little bit more excited because it's, it makes me want to be more aware wherever I am and wherever the ball is so I can see the ball and if they're going to my defender, I want to be one step ahead of them and steal that. Being aware of where the ball is but always being on your toes, you always got to be ready to move and ready to anticipate that pass. And I definitely I pay attention to where it's not, I'm not just looking at the ball. I have to see where my player is. So if they are moving up or down on the wing, I've, I'm moving into the help position that I can. If they are going to skip it to my player, I can anticipate it. I definitely look at if they're going to be doing an overhead pass. It's probably not going to my person, per se. But if they're turning to my person directly and they're going to do a chest pass, that's when I know. I mean, my first year, it was definitely getting that big steal was probably the biggest thing because my offense wasn't as strong. But at, it's getting to the point where both are pretty big, but it's always great to just get that one big steal that you really need, and it just amps up your entire team. 